Hey everybody, it's Jack Knife TV. I'm here to show you a eSig review on the iTaste MVP2. Now, what you want to do is you want to start off with at least fifty dollars. You're going to need at least fifty dollars to get a full kit, everything that you need, um, including juice. Now I have some juices here that I would like to share with you. I have vanilla. I have apple. I have watermelon. And I have my last bit of grape. I bought these at a gas station, Sunoco. Um... For a while, I was buying them from an e-cig e shop that was close near me, close nearby my city or town. Um, okay, so let's get into it. Okay, what you're going to need is $50, and you're going to need, if you're not 18, then I suggest leaving now because you're not going to be able to get an e-cig unless your mom buys it for you. But what you're going to need is a tank, which they will provide for you if you get the kit. If not, then you have to buy it separately. And then what you, else you're going to need is a battery. The battery is the most important. Well, they're both kind of they're both important, or otherwise you can't smoke it. But, um, I'll just do a quick test for you. It burns out pretty good vapor. Um, it has a really good flavor. It, um... The power of it, though, how much vapor you get, it you can turn it up, you can turn it down. It's crazy. It's sometimes it makes me even choke when I do it. <coughs> See, like that. Um. So. Here's the basics. The bottles of juice are usually normally ten dollars. Um, you can sometimes get them for five if your e-cig place, the e-cig shop near you, or the gas station has a sale. Um, these right here, all the bottles that you saw, these are off-brand because they're like eight bucks. And to be honest, that's all I can afford right now. These kind of e-cig, e-liquid, drops, whatever you want to call them, these are like 10 bucks. I got this for 5 because it was on sale. And they're pretty much all empty because I'm a fiend. But anyways, um, you need to have juice. You need to have a good e-cig. I would suggest not going to the gas station. And if they don't have juice or an e-cig that you can buy there I would suggest not buying the disposable ones this the disposable e-cigs probably last you a day and then you'll probably have to go back you'll have to get another one the next day and it's ten dollars each time and that adds up more than to this I mean you're just gonna be spending on way too much money you don't want that now these you do have to change the coil which I'll show you what the coil is. <coughs> Just unscrew this here. That's the coil. And basically that's what soaks up all the juice, which basically you can vape on. Now, there is cheap tanks. I've had it tank just totally break on me and it's really bad it's it's not good 
and sometimes if it's broken you don't realize it you'll get juice in your mouth and it's just it's nasty it's you don't want that so best bet just get one of these I'll have a link in the description for one of these um, also I'll have a link to where you can get cheap e-juice like name brand e-juice that's really cheap I'll get uh, what was that one site I'll get um, a place I'll have a link in the description where you can get this and this tank if you want and that's all about that's all about it if you like this video please like and subscribe um, I'm new to this so actually just started um, I just watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos that uh, really inspired me to do this and thank you. Have a good day.